Is my wardrobe magic, Dad? High above the city, on a tall column, stood the statue of the Happy Prince. He was gilded all over with thin leaves of fine gold. For eyes he had two bright sapphires, and a large red ruby glowed on his sword hilt. Tell me about the Happy Prince. Yeah. Oh. And this wallow is looking for the fish to sleep. He's just about to go to sleep when he feels a drop of water on its head. First he thinks it's rain, then he looks up. Ah, what did he see? The eyes of the happy prince were filled with tears. Who are you? said the swallow. I'm the happy prince. Why are you crying then? He lived in a palace where sorrow never entered. He never saw anything outside it, and when he died, they made him into a statue high above the city where he could see all the poverty and unhappiness of the world. He was covered in jewels and gold. He wanted the swallow to use these riches to help the poor people he could see around him. Who are you? said the swallow. I am the happy prince. Why are you crying then? I'm an angel dropped out of the sky. What's wrong? Do you want to talk about it? I don't come back, you know. I dreamt I was looking for him. I was running up this wide staircase. Running and running endlessly. When I came to his door, I opened it and there was nothing there. He was my son too, you know. I miss him too. I love him and I miss him. What's the worst thing, the most difficult thing for you? That I wasn't with him every single minute of the day. That I left you both because I couldn't cope. But it's too late to make it up to him. It's too late. He's gone. Maybe you can. Can what? Make it up to him. Far away, continued the prince in a low musical voice, far away in a little street, there is a poor house. One of the windows is open and through it I can see a woman seated at a table. In a bed in the corner of the room, her little boy is lying ill. Swallow, will you not bring her the ruby out of my sword hilt? Swallow, little swallow, said the prince, will you not stay with me for one night and be my messenger? 
the boy is so thirsty and the mother so sad. The happy prince looked so sad that the little swallow was sorry. It's very cold here, he said, but I will stay with you for one night and be your messenger. way through that for a while, won't he? Come on. Dad? Yeah? We're going the way, aren't we? Oh, You're here with me. You're staying here with me. No. We're going away to the house of death, like the swallow. But it's okay. I've done things like him. Remember when he said he felt warmer? Far away across the city, I see a young man in a garret. Shall I take him another ruby? I have no ruby now. My eyes are all I have left. They are made of rare sapphires which were brought out of India a thousand years ago. Pluck out one of them and take it to him. Swallow, will you not stay with me? Will you not stay with me? Will you not? Jeremy! Will you not stay with me one night longer? In the square below, there stands a little match girl. Pluck out my other eye and give it to her. I will stay with you one night longer, but I cannot pluck out your eye. You would be quite blind then. Swallow, do as I command you. So he plucked out the prince's other eye. You're quite blind now, so I will stay with you always. I'll stay with you always. Dear little swallow, you tell me of marvellous things, but more marvellous than anything is the suffering of men and women. There is no mystery so great as misery. Fly over the city, little swallow, and tell me what you see there. <laughs> <laughs> 